Okay. So in a sense here, this question is very much like the first question because we can look at, for instance, the small can here and we can say, look, you're getting 200 grams of um, baked beans for 46 pence. Okay. Well, what we can do then from here is work out how much will one gram of baked beans cost, if that, if that makes sense. We can sort of scale it. Now, in the first question, you were trying to scale it to nine people. Yeah. Okay. Um, in this question, though, if we scale it to just one gram, we can see how much one gram costs Okay, for small can and the same then for the medium. And then we can see which is the most expensive. So to get one gram, the cost of one gram here, if we think about it, I've got to scale this down. I've just got to divide it by 200. Yeah. Okay, that's all I've got to do. So 200 grams divided by 200 will give me what one gram is worth if I divide that cost then by 200. So I do that on my calculator, 46 divided by 200. Okay, press equals. So I get the fraction there, yeah? So if I press the SD button, it'd be 0 0.23, okay? 0 0.23, and that actually will be pence, okay? Um, because we're working with pence here. Okay, so less than one penny for just one gram of beans, okay? So you're not getting much there anyway. Now if we did the same for the medium, now for the medium can, it says 410 grams is 95 pence. To get one gram here to scale this down, now I'd have to divide this one by 410, okay? 410 grams divided by 410, we're left with one gram. I'll do the same here then, divide that by 410. So if I do that on my calculator, okay, I get, so press the SD button, 0 0.23. Now, I had 23 last time, didn't I? But this time you've got a few more digits, 1, 7, and so on, right? 0, 7. Now, if you look here then, right, this is 0 0.23 pence, but this is 0 0.231707 pence. So this costs slightly more, only slightly, okay? All right, but we can state that the medium can, okay, cost slightly more for every gram, for every one gram. So if it's costing slightly more for every one gram, that means the small can is actually better value for money. So we can say that. So the small can is better value for money.